Hi guys and welcome to the first of two how-to videos for Unit 20, Enterprise and IT. We're going to look at through the first assignment today and we're going to make sure that we're clear on the scenario that's required for us to follow along. As you can see, the context of our scenario is all about a company called Dovetail Games based in Chatham Dockside in Kent. Now, in some of your assignments that you may be working on, the scenarios may be slightly different to uh, this scenario, but but ultimately the task requirements will all be the same. So let's look at what those task requirements will be. As you can see from the assignment, we're given one task, and this task is made up of a subset of other tasks. But first of all, let's look at the top part of this task. You will need to write an evaluation of the principles and characteristics of successful enterprises, providing at least two examples of IT enterprises. Now what you're gonna be looking at here is looking at companies like Apple, where they've been innovators in their areas and they've been successful from the beginning. Some of the attributes that some of these companies have are what make them a success today. You need to make sure that you're drawing on varied information that leads you to a supported judgment showing your relationship between the context and your comments. In this part of your assignment, it's best to go off and do some research about successful enterprises in IT. Companies like Apple are always the ones that come to our minds first, but there are other successful IT enterprises out there. Companies like Nest Thermostat were really successful in the fact that they were innovators in their technology, enabling people to have an automated system to control their heating within their household. Things like geofencing meant that people, once they left their properties, were able to have their thermostat turn off so they're not heating a house that no one's in. Other successful enterprises are things like Fitbit, Fitbit saw gaps in the market where you can have wearable technology to enable you to monitor your exercise. And these companies were innovators in their fields and they were looking for gaps in the market that maybe weren't there before. They were looking at where the market has some products on it at the moment, but they're not necessarily taking full advantage of what their capability of their products are. When we start to look at the skills that entrepreneurs and enterprises have, we look at things like ambition, drive, passion. These are all attributes that companies and individuals as entrepreneurs can possess. Companies like Tesla and SpaceX have shown that they are innovators and that they're prepared to take risks. And these risks can reap the rewards. Hopefully, in years to come, SpaceX will be able to make domestic and commercial flights to space in the early 2010s, Apple were innovators in their own field. They looked at the market and saw that there was a need for something between a mobile phone and a laptop, something that was portable. So Apple invented the iPad. The iPad. So? Let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like. The iPad was a revolutionary device in its time, as nobody else had found this gap in the market. And Apple used this for six months to their advantage. After Apple's iPad release, companies like Samsung released the Galaxy as a little bit of catch up. But this device was already out there as an Apple iPad and was commanding a lot of interest from people wanting to purchase it. These sorts of innovation, drive, passion, ambition and motivation are what shape companies and enterprises to be successful. In your assignment, you're going to need to look at companies like this and provide examples where they have shown this innovation, this drive, this passion, making references to them in your reports. Now that you've looked at what makes for successful enterprises and what leads to successful enterprises, looking at entrepreneurs and enterprise, we're now going to be looking at your own skill sets. In the next part of your report, you're going to need to focus up on looking at what you are able to do as an individual. Look at what skills that you have what entrepreneurial attributes you may possess. Remember, we're all individuals, so therefore not one person is going to have the same assets, attributes and facets 
that make them an entrepreneur. Some of you may be open to drive and passion, whereas other people won't necessarily take risks. But that's not to say that you're not going to be a successful entrepreneur. So what you're going to need to do in this report is look at all of the objects, assets, facets and attributes that make for an entrepreneur, identify which ones are relevant to you and then suggest how you might improve them if they're not that strong. Additional to this, you're going to need to look at the IT skills that you may possess. Some of you may have skills in programming, whereas others may not. So therefore this would be identified as a skills gap and this is something that you'd need to improve later on. So think how you might overcome this challenge. Would you sign up to online courses? Would you do reading? Would you watch videos? Or would you discuss with others that may have the strength in that area to teach you? This is how you might identify any skills gaps. And as an enterprise and an entrepreneur, you might want to target these issue areas so that you can make your products the best that you can. Other attributes that you might think, and actually you might forget, is the ability to drive. Some entrepreneurs need this ability as a skill, because you have to learn how to drive, to move and commute around the country to meet potential investors, your manufacturing plants if needs be, or to go and visit customers. So these are skills that if you don't possess them yet, are classed as a skills gap. And this is something that you're gonna to need to target. Finally, in your report, you should look to evaluate how and what you've done in your report. Discuss how your report covers what makes and leads to a successful enterprise. Discuss the skills that you have and possess, but also discuss the ones that you don't and how you're gonna overcome them. And finally, suggest that the examples that you've used are really good examples of strong and successful enterprises.